back to El Cisco TV. This is your favorite bearded chef, El Cisco, and today we have a review video. Today we're going to be reviewing the recipe from Home Chef. It's going to be a chicken with mushroom gravy recipe. And I know it's difficult to come up with new and innovative ideas during this quarantine, so this is going to be the first installment of Quarantine and Cook. So if y'all ready, let's get into it. All right, so on this little recipe card here, we have our list of recipe items in the box. Then on the back of the card is the actual recipe. So let's take a look at what comes with this recipe. So this is how the ingredients are packaged. So our protein is packaged separately. So let's take a look to see what we have the recipe. So first we have some mushrooms, we have some garlic cloves, we have our green beans, we have our sprig of rosemary, we have some sherry wine, We have some chicken base. We have some light cream. And it looks like we have some more garlic. That's the contents of our box for this recipe. Let's start the prep work. All right. So the first step in the process is to trim our green beans. Also, our recipe card here says to preheat our oven to 400 degrees. And also we want to prepare a baking sheet with foil and we can spray that with some cooking oil or what I did, I used parchment paper in my baking container. So whatever works best for you. So these portions, they come for two people. So if you're just cooking for yourself that night, you know, portion accordingly how many green beans you're going to cook, how many mushrooms you're going to cook, and obviously we just cook one chicken breast. So we're gonna start the prep. We're gonna cut up our green beans. We're gonna cut up our mushrooms. Um, we're gonna mince our rosemary, mince our garlic, and then we're gonna prep our chicken, season that up and things like that. Also, it's important to bring our chicken breast or whatever protein we're cooking to room temperature. So we never wanna put in the pot cold or especially frozen. Bring it up to room temperature ensures that it cooks evenly. So let's start the process. There's our green beans. Now we're gonna slice our mushrooms. Mushrooms, I make sure I washed and dried. Mushrooms are full of water, so they're gonna cook down a lot. So the mushrooms may look like a lot, but you may wanna add a little bit more just to make sure you have enough when you actually cook them.
right. And just be mindful of your cleaning area or your cutting area. Make sure everything is clean, either off to the side or, you know, clean as you go. Makes your life easier once you're finished prepping and when you're done cleaning. So now we're gonna mince up our garlic. What I like to do, I use the side of the knife. Go ahead and press it down. And then you can go ahead and start mincing. So that's about the consistency that you want for your minced garlic. Now we're going to mince up our rosemary. So first, we're going to hold top, and then we're going to just gently pull down so we can remove the leaves. Top, we'll just pull those so. And we're gonna give those a nice mints. There's our rosemary. We want to make sure when we pack dry our chicken, take out as much moisture as possible. And this is not in the recipe or instructions. What I like to do is put some olive oil over the chicken so that our season has something to adhere to. So I'm just going to drizzle a little bit of olive oil on the chicken, rub that in both sides so that when we put our seasoning onto the chicken, it sticks. So since we're following this recipe, it calls just for salt and pepper. So that's what we're gonna add to this chicken. So I'm using some kosher salt. And since we're touching protein with our hand, or you can use gloves, if you're using your raw hand or your hand to touch the raw meat, you wanna make sure you're off washing your hands often. All right, so the next step in the process is to start our green beans. So let's go and get that started. Here's our green beans. We started by putting it on our parchment paper that's in our baking container. I poured some olive oil on it. Now we're gonna season it with some salt and black pepper. And then we're gonna also massage that in to our green beans so they're well coated and covered. And if we take a look, that's how we want them. 
So you put the oil there so that the salt and pepper coats and flavors our green beans. So now we're gonna put these green beans in the oven for five minutes. And then we're gonna get back to our chicken and start that process. All right, so while our green beans roast in the oven, I added about one teaspoon of olive oil to my pan here. So now I'm gonna add the chicken, now that the oil is heated. I'm gonna add the chicken and cook it for about four to five minutes until it gets nice and brown. When added protein, you wanna make sure you add it away from you and not towards you. So I'm gonna add the chicken this way. And make sure you just let it sit, don't disturb it. Let it go for five, four to five minutes. All right, so we seared our chicken breast for five minutes. Now we're gonna transfer our seared chicken to a baking sheet, which I've done here with some parchment paper. And this is gonna go into the oven for another 10 to 12 minutes, or until we have an internal temperature of about 165. And then we're gonna check on our green beans. If they're tender, we'll go ahead and take those out while our chicken finishes. And then we'll make our mushroom gravy. I add another teaspoon of olive oil to our pan that we've seared our chicken in. Now we're gonna add our mushroom and rosemary and also our garlic. We're gonna cook that for about one to three minutes. We wanna make sure we reserve some of our rosemary to use as garnish. We just want to stir occasionally. So I'll let it go ahead and cook for a little bit and then I'll start the stirring process. All right, so after about two to three minutes, now we're gonna add our sherry wine. And we're gonna stir that occasionally until it slightly thickens. We're gonna cook that for another three to four minutes. All right, so after four minutes, we're gonna now add our chicken base. And we're gonna also add our cream. We're gonna give that a stir occasionally. And we're gonna let this simmer for about one to two minutes. So at this time, our gravy is thickening up. We wanna make sure we give it a taste and add our seasoning, salt and pepper, or whatever season we want at this point to make sure it's exactly how we want it. Another 30 seconds or so, and our sauce should be good. Or our gravy, rather. Our green beans are finished. Our chicken has finished and has been resting for five minutes. And our mushroom gravy is finished. So now we're gonna plate. Here's our final dish. I'm about to dive in. You guys check this recipe out. Tell me what you think. I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace.